For the latest now on what's happening on Metro as they also are lifting their mask mandate. Melanie Alwick standing by with that latest. Uh, Mel, good morning. Hey, Maureen, and um, Metro says its mask policy was based on that federal guidance. So now that that TSA guidance is changing, TSA no longer enforcing, as you've been reporting, the same goes here, too. We asked Metro riders this morning how they feel about the change. You know, I've got my mask ready to go when I get down there. I, uh, I know where I've been, but I don't know where other people have been. Well, I think Metro should not do that because... I don't want to get sick. Nobody wants to get sick because I have to work. Who's going to pay my bills when I'm not working? So here at L'Enfant Plaza, most people this morning we saw were wearing masks on the platform and on the trains, maybe about 70-30. Uh, now, masks are optional on Metro Rail, Metro Bus, and Metro Access. This is for customers and employees as well. The new policy comes, though, as more workers are going back to their offices and ridership is steadily increasing. At the same time, those 7,000 series rail cars are still sidelined and trains can be crowded during rush hour. So Metro says it is encouraging its riders and its customers to make the choices that are best for them. They also say they'll have a little bit more information as they get it. All right, Mel, thank you. That brings us to this morning's Fox 5 Live Instagram question. We're asking, will you continue to wear a mask while traveling on public transit? And the margins have actually gotten smaller. 53% of you saying no, so slight majority there. But I've been asking some of you on, on Twitter and um, People are passionate about this on either side. If you'd like to chime in, cast your vote on our website, fox5dc.com or download.